Vice President Kamala Harris on Wednesday touted the Biden administration's investment in electric school buses. $5 billion from the infrastructure law will go toward funding electric school buses over the next five years. Harris decried the fact that millions of students ride to school in yellow buses every day, yet 95% of buses are powered by diesel fuel. She praised the administration's actions, labeling it as an investment in children's future, health, and education. She also touted it as an investment in domestic manufacturing, which will also help create jobs. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Good morning, and to all the young leaders who are here, and the youngish leaders. Good morning to all of you. Good morning, my dear. Good morning. Good morning. I'm here because of you, by the way. I'm here because of all of our young leaders who are here. Um, it is you who has motivated the work that we are doing that is demonstrated by these beautiful yellow school buses. Um, and so I'm, I'm just so happy to be with all of you and to the governor, the senator, our administrator, Regan, um, to all of you, thank you for your leadership. Mayor, thank you for the warm welcome. So here's the thing. Who doesn't love a yellow school bus, right? Can you raise your hand if you love a yellow school bus, right? Just there's something about the, and, and most of us, many of us went to school on the yellow school bus, right? And it's part of, it's part of our, our experience growing up. It's part of a, you know, a nostalgia and a memory of, of the excitement and joy of going to school to be with your favorite teacher, to be with your best friends, and to learn. The school bus takes us there. And in America today, 25 million children a day go to school on the yellow school bus, 25 million children a day. And today, 95% of our school buses are fueled with diesel fuel, which contributes to very serious conditions that are about health and about the ability to learn. So when I think about what the experience should be for our children of going to school on the school bus. I think about the fact that it should be about maximizing that experience for them, understanding that this bus symbolizes so much about our collective investment in our future. Because of course it is about our investment in our children, in their health, and in their education. And in that way, our electric school bus program really does represent an intersection of all those points. On top of the importance of investing in domestic manufacturing. We all know when during the height of the pandemic, we saw what it means when we don't have domestic manufacturing around the things that we need every day. It slows us down. We know that domestic manufacturing means that we can create jobs right here in the United States. And that by creating these jobs, because we are creating a new industry, we must also then think about what the jobs require, which is highly skilled labor, and what then that means in terms of investing in apprenticeship programs, investing in training programs, to build the skills in America's workforce to do the work of growing this new industry, which is totally directed at benefiting our children. Those are the intersections. So that's why I'm so excited about these electric school buses. And when I think about what we have been able to do through the infrastructure law, what it means is that we have now invested and that's the announcement today, $5 billion over the next five years. What we are doing today is the first of those billion dollars, $1 billion, through grant proposals from the 50 states, distributing to the 50 states an investment for their ability, starting the next school year, next school year, to roll these buses out 
to pick up our kids and take them to school. That's our announcement today. And these investments are going to go everywhere that our school buses go. It's going to be in urban communities. It's going to be in rural communities, tribal communities. It will be in all 50 states. And what it will also be is about understanding that when we think about our children right now, they have so much capacity. But when we think about how many of us, for example, have had to go to the emergency room because our child has asthma? Right? How many of us have had to deal with the fact that when our children are exposed to pollutants, what that means in terms of their respiratory status, not to mention illness? These are some of the issues that we are going to address, which is not only about our children, but about our parents and what you must do to take care of your children on a daily basis. We are thinking about this in terms of yellow school buses being the largest form of mass transit in our country. Think about that. And we are thinking about it in terms of creating healthy learning environments for our children. So all of that is at play with what we are doing today. And I met with some of our young leaders um, this morning on our way here. And, um, and one of them said to me, I said, well, what is today about? And they said, Saving our planet. Saving our planet. So the youngest of our children understand not only their power, but the importance to them of saving our planet. And I guess that's what brings it home in terms of the concluding point. We owe it to our children to right now take these issues very seriously. The clock is ticking loudly. We are witnessing around our country and around the world the effects of extreme climate. There is a direct correlation that thankfully as we progress as a nation is not being debated, which is the correlation between all of that and human behaviors. And so what we are announcing today and what we are as a community of friends and parents and leaders, what we are announcing today is a step forward in our nation's commitment to be a leader on these issues, to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, to invest in our economy, to invest in job creation, to invest in building the skills of America's workforce, all with, as that young leader this morning said to me, a goal of not only saving our children, but for them, saving our planet. I thank you all very much.